happy vlogmas everyone i'm jen from yarnia and i'm doing sundays vlogmas right now i have got my shaky cam i've got my coffee and my winter sad light that I got for Christmas last year that actually really helps. Um, I, I'm not a morning person. Um, so today I have a couple of things to do. I'm still working on some socks from Clementine Sock Tubes that I'm going to be working on now. The cats are running around like crazy people. Um, one kiddo is at a robotics competition at the middle school. He's in states. Go BuzzBots. And um, the other one is going to be going to tennis in a little bit. So I will have some time to get some stuff done. And uh, I have to do the newsletter today. So that should be fun. And I'm going to try to squeeze in a ride on the Peloton as well. So we'll see. It's actually not that much, but I'm lazy and it's Sunday. So come hang out with me today. So I realized I never showed anyone the felt advent calendar that I made a few years ago, like a crazy person, starting it the week before Thanksgiving. So I'll show you a few of the ornaments. They're all hand embroidered in felt. The penguin. This one is my favorite. The mitten with knit embroidery. Uh-oh. <laughs> If we change the placement of any of the ornaments once they're up, somebody gets mad. There's Max's, Oliver's, and I love the candle. One for me, Candy, Birdie, Owl. Some of my other favorites haven't been hung yet. This one. Snowflake and metallic pearl cotton. There's a little tree, a wreath, candy cane, presents, a bell, holly, a little gingerbread man, a snowman. the stocking the star at the top of the tree that the kids fight over and a santa hat so i made this i made the base along with my mom's help the week before thanksgiving a number of years ago and then did a mad dash scramble of embroidering the ornaments so long as i was two days ahead i was fine so but it got done. I also wanted to show you guys a couple of our other Christmas decorations. Our mantle is super crowded right now. But this would be Jonathan's, technically it's a Christmas tree stopper, topper, but it is a Santa with riding a dragon. Um, and I believe he lights up. We also have, right now it says Leo. I made these glitter letters. Um, to spell out Noel, N-O-E-L, that often gets changed around to Leon, and today somebody hid the N, so it's Leo for our cats. Growing up, Jonathan's family had a Noel that often got switched to Leon, so. And then the fire is on because it's a little chilly today, and we have yet to hang our stockings because the fire keeps going on. So that's the random Petco cat stocking. Here's my stocking that I made a couple of years ago. Ollie's stocking that I made a few years ago as well. This is Jonathan's stocking from when he was a kiddo. And then um, my mother-in-law actually had Max's stocking commissioned um, when he was one. So, yeah, I also have two other hand knit stockings like that um, that I had made before we used these.
working on Jonathan's Christmas socks and I just wanted to show you guys something. So unsure if you can see, here we go. Is it focusing? There we go. So I just changed color to tip to the white and because I'm in working in um, a one by one twisted rib, I didn't want the pearl bloops to show. Because you know when you change color, sometimes you get that lifting up. So what I did was I knit every stitch and I still did the twisted knits on the twisted knit rib, but I knit even the pearl stitches so I get a nice clean line at the ribbing. And I'm only gonna do that for a couple of rows. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm only gonna do that for one row and I'm only gonna do the white for a few rows because his socks are huge. And we have finished Jonathan's Christmas socks. I still have to weave in the ends though. Am I the only one who actually washes my shower in the shower? So I have an old toothbrush that I left in there and I have now scrubbed it clean. So it's less gross. So right now I am about to go stash diving to see if I can find in my containers some yarn that will make good teacher gifts. So let's take a look. to do the newsletter. It's Sunday night. That means it's newsletter time. finished up the newsletter. I am just waiting on comments, but I'm going to go do dinner and maybe wrap up a couple of other things. So in the meantime, thanks for joining me on today and I will see you in a few days. I hope everybody is having a great Vlogmas. Look, you can see the calendar over my shoulder that I never actually changed from November. But It'll get there. So I will see you guys soon. Have a great evening or morning. Depends on when you watch this, I guess.